What is going on everyone, Jimmo back again, and today we're going to be working with Keegan de France again, doing some custom paint work. We've uh, seen some of his work in the past in some previous videos, if you haven't seen them yet, check them out. But there's always something cool hanging around his shop, like this American flag inspired guitar, and um, you know, lots of metal flake, and, and stuff you don't get to see in your everyday collision shop, that's for sure. And there never seems to be a shortage of skulls, lots of skulls. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that his spray out cards tend to look a little different than mine. A little nicer to look at, mind you. So what we are going to be working on today is this Nissan Altima Coupe. And um, we're going to be painting it complete first. And you'll notice that I'm saying we as if I'm somehow involved in this job. But uh, you can see that, you know, I played a pretty big role washing, washing it all down for me and I get it ready to shoot. So teamwork. It's all about teamwork. I do a tremendous amount of it. So Keegan's going to knock off the paint job first. So he's come up with a custom color, which you can have a look at in a bit. It's... RM Onyx and it is basically it's a black with some metallic and pearl in it I believe to give it kind of a subtle purplish reflection in certain certain lighting conditions so you'll get a better look at that in a bit but first we're just gonna whack on this paint so he's using the Segola 4600 base coat gun which is my gun I asked him to try and want to hear his take on it uh, I can't remember exactly what he said but uh, you know, it looks like it's going down pretty good. So, I mean, I was happy with it. So here's a look at the base coat flashing off and you can tell it's water. It's always got this certain look about it. Um, wet. It looks wet. That's, that's how you know it's water, I guess. Um, yeah, so uh, used a blower in certain spots to fl help flash things along. Spraying a complete, it's a little bit more critical when it comes to the clear starting and stopping points because the clear, depending on how fast of a clear coat you use, you'll have more or less time. So you can slow it right down. If you use a really, really slow clear, then it's not going to have a tremendous impact on where you start and stop. Um, and every vehicle is a little bit different. Some have brakes that are easier to work than others. so. I've never been, I, I tend to usually start them somewhere around the sail area or the back uh, quarter. Um, everyone's a little bit different. I don't think there's necessarily a right or wrong way to approach this. Just, um, you know, you can't take all day about it, I guess. You can't spray half the car and then go have a coffee break and, and then, you know, talk to your buds and check your Instagram feed, which, you know, I wouldn't oppose if you're checking up on the Refinish Network one. That's, that's that's fine I can I can deal with that but what's gonna happen is you're gonna come back and there's gonna be dry spray down the middle of your job because that's what would happen so here you can have a good look at the color now you can see uh, how it's reflecting under the 3M sun gun there which sort of replicates what's gonna look like outside it's got a pretty nice look about it so we've got the clear on this job now and uh, we're going to have to sand that down. And again, when I say we, that's something he did and uh, better him than me because that looks like uh, a lot of work to do. Probably took a few hours to sand that thing back down again. And then we're going to apply some cool Dragon Ball Z graphics to the hood. And then, um, yeah. But first, we're going to do some silver leaf down the side here. And if you're like me, you do not get exposed to this type of painting that often. So, I mean, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on it. So I'm going to let uh, you have a look at what he's doing. I'll try to explain some of it um, beforehand. But basically, the way I understand the principle of applying this is uh, there's a special glue he's going to put down here. So he's going to brush it down, try and keep everything smooth and make sure that there's no imperfections in the glue that will mess up how that silver leaf goes down. And he's going to apply a bit of glue to those tape areas on top of the stripe. And then he can check to see how dry that glue is and uh, wants to hit a certain window of dryness before he puts the silver relief into it. 
if that makes sense. So uh, let's let's watch that. So the next thing that he's going to be doing here is what I believe they call spinning and that's taking some 3000 grit sandpaper and I believe there's a few different ways you can achieve this and pressing it into the silver leaf and giving it a little twirl and you can see it changes the pattern and makes it look a little bit funkier. That's going to reflect back through. He's going to put a candy over top of that, a candy red and it's going to reflect up through that red and give off that pattern look and make it pop just a little bit more. Thank you. 
Though the one thing you'll notice with custom work, there's an awful lot more of sanding and re-clearing and re-clearing and sanding and re-clearing over and over again. So after applying the silver leaf and then a candy over top of it, he is now going to re-clear it and then sand it down so we can lose all of those edges. Well, it's going to protect, I guess, you need to clear over top of those stripes anyway, but you don't want any edges around where you've um, just masked off. So there'll be a bit of a, an edge along that stripe. So clearing it and then sanding it down and then clearing it again likely is going to remove that. So we'll get that clear on here and then we're going to have a look at the hood where we've got something pretty funky going on. Okay, so here we go with the Dragon Ball Z murals on the hood. And I you know I can't tell you what the names of these characters are. I'm, you know, I'm not, it's not really my scene, but uh, they're, they're cool looking characters. If you know, feel free to leave a comment and maybe help, help me out here. But what he's done is freehand drawn everything onto a transfer paper here. It's just a light, low tack masking paper. Well, that's a tape and an adhesive and he's going to cut everything out so he's going to do this in stages though so what's going to be happening momentarily is while well, he's mixing it up right now is he's going to be putting down a white pearl so the white pearl is going to be sort of transparent and it's going to use some of the black underneath to make the color if that makes sense so it's going to be going into an inter coat here so it's just like a mixing clear and so if he puts on maybe one coat of pearl, it's going to look different than if he has three coats of pearl on something. So if he slowly unmasks each section and adds different amounts of pearl, it's going to look a little bit different and make certain features stand out a little bit better. So that's what's going to happen here. And then after that dries, the same red candy that was used on the side on the silver leaf is going to be used over top of the mural because we're going for more of a subtle look than something really bold. And um, let's, let's get to it. I'm just going to let this run. You guys can have a look at Keegan here doing his thing.
So once we've got that hood cleared, after the artwork's done, it will be cleared and then sanded down, then cleared again, and then maybe even sanded down and cleared again. I, it's, uh, it's a long, tedious process, but here's what it looks like when we've got everything all together. Pretty cool. He also added on some more silver leaf stripes with the same candy over top there on the hood just to tie everything in together and make everything look that much cooler. And uh, at the back, we've got some painted on carbon fiber pattern on the spoiler. And uh, he's added a pinstripe pattern there as well and signed it. And there was some at the top. So pretty cool looking car. Um, we're going to just move along here to some of his other recent work off of the Facebook page. I've taken this stuff. So here's a look at some other work that you can expect to find there. Some lots of metal flake. Look at that stuff just dancing away there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And we're going to move on to some other work that you can find. So he's actually done some cool snowboards coming up for Mazda Canada. And I believe he's doing another event. If I remember correctly, I was following his page. You know what? I'm going to pull up his Facebook page right now. We're going to get this right. Commission to paint live at the Yeti Summit in Distillery District next month. So it sounds like a cool event for Snowboard Canada. Check it out if you have time. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And, um, you know, for his Facebook page as well, you'll see all kinds of cool work like this. And, uh, you know, that's it. I guess um, we're going to leave it there. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. And uh, keep up with the latest with what's happening here at Refinish Network. And that's it. Thanks again for watching. And we will see you next time.